Well, if you've been to the fuel pump these days, you probably notice that just about every gas station sells gasoline with ethanol in it. Is ethanol a good thing or is it a bad thing? Is it going to hurt your fuel efficiency or help it? Is it going to cause carbon buildup or is it going to help prevent carbon buildup? Let's get the testing underway and see exactly what it does to an engine. So when it comes to buying ethanol-free gasoline, I like to say trust but verify. And that's exactly what we're about to do. The gasoline to the left is supposed to be ethanol-free. The gasoline in this graduated cylinder is supposed to have 10% ethanol. To ensure a fair test, we're going to make sure that this does indeed have 10% and that this is indeed ethanol-free. Now, as it turns out, alcohol is hydrophilic, meaning it's attracted to water. So if we add water to the gasoline, then the gasoline is going to separate from the ethanol. And we'll be able to see how much ethanol content is in there. So I'll be adding 20 mLs of water to this 100 mLs of gasoline. And in theory, if there's 10% alcohol, the line should occur at the 30 mL mark. Ethanol-free gasoline, on the other hand, there's nothing to separate out. So when I add the 2 mLs of water to the 10 mLs of gasoline, we should see the mark around 2 mLs. So what I'm going to do now is add the water into the gasoline, and I'm going to mix it thoroughly and allow it to sit for 15 minutes. When we come back, we'll see how much ethanol is in each one of these gasolines. So it's been about 15 minutes since I added the water to the gasoline and it's had a chance to settle out. Fortunately, the gasoline I bought that's not supposed to have any ethanol in it doesn't. I added two mLs of water to the non-ethanol gasoline and the line is right on two mLs. I added 20 mLs of water to the E10 gasoline on the right. As you can see, the line is almost up to 30, so this gasoline has almost 10% ethanol content. So if you don't have access to non-ethanol gasoline, a strategy you can take is very similar to what I've done. You can mix gasoline with water and put a tap in the bottom of a container and then you can drain off the excess water and ethanol. There is one downside to removing the ethanol from the gasoline and that is it will likely reduce the octane level of the gasoline once the ethanol is out of it since ethanol is used to raise the octane of gasoline. So to measure fuel efficiency, I purchased a new generator that uses electronic fuel injection. I've already used the generator for several hours for proper break-in process. By the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm not sponsored by this company or any other. I haven't owned this generator long enough to recommend it either. So let's do a quick walk around of the generator before we begin the test. This is the electric fuel pump, the oxygen sensor, the fuel injector, and it has a 420cc engine. For fuel efficiency testing, I'm going to place the generator under load, running two space heaters. I'll be using a kilowatt device just to make sure the space heaters continue to function properly throughout the entire test. Since gasoline and ethanol don't weigh the same, and I'll be testing two different types of fuel, one with ethanol and one without, I'll be using volume to determine how much fuel goes in the system instead of just weight. Before beginning the test, I'm going to go ahead and warm up the engine for a few minutes.
So we're going to be measuring how much carbon buildup takes place inside this small engine using ethanol as well as non-ethanol fuel, just comparing the two. So we're going to start off with using the non-ethanol fuel first and then we'll try the ethanol. So when it comes to the topic of ethanol in gasoline, there's a lot of strong opinions. When it comes to small engines, I think there's almost a consensus that there's a problem with it. If it's left in a gasoline tank for any period of time, it's gonna cause corrosion. What we saw today was non-ethanol fuel does indeed deliver better fuel efficiency. Now regarding carbon deposits, I didn't see much of a difference. Some claim that ethanol-based fuels help prevent carbon buildup, but that wasn't what we saw today. But it was a short-term test. Now in the future, I plan to compare the effects of ethanol versus non-ethanol based fuels on rubber and plastic components that are commonly found in carburetors. Now it's gonna take six to nine months for the testing to be completed, so it's gonna be a while before that video is done, but I'm gonna get that video started really soon. I'd also like to hear your future video ideas. I always like to read comments and I take notes on your ideas so we can put together videos for the future on them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.